Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon to subscribe to our channel. We get to have a unicorn party for every 100 new subscribers we get. Here we go. Welcome to Kuwaka Story. We're going to press play after I've popped a few bubbles. Oh, and hit some of the uh, other bubbles on the way. We're going to press play and go and see what the story is. Our story begins in Kiwaka, a small place tucked away in the depths of the African jungle. Far away and totally isolated, it has a dense and lush forest where a warm breeze blows and giant beanstalks grow. Giant beanstalks? Okay, I'm going to tap the moon because it said to tap it. Oh, and it went away. Whee! And I saw the little hand indicate that I need to swipe. Oh, look, I can swipe through and make that warm breeze blow in the giant beanstalks. All right, let's press forward. In Kiwaka lived four of the strangest creatures ever. Kuti, the pink elephant. Tuka, the rainbow bird. Shaka, the sneaky serpent. And Quilo, the blue crocodile, named after the nearby river where he was born. Wow, well, hello Tuka. Tuka was oh, happily flying high Tuka. in the sky when he flew through a magical rainbow and was turned into a colorful bird. Oh. So that's how he ended up rainbow colored. How about that? I'll tap the other ones now. I wonder how Kudi the pink elephant became pink. On a star covered night, as Kudi walked calmly through the grass, he stumbled upon a mysterious bubble maker. Now he is pink and he loves soap bubbles. <laughs> oh, Kudi. What about uh, Shaka the sneaky serpent? On a serpent? very stormy day, as Shaka rested near a tree in the forest, she was suddenly struck by lightning. As a result, she now has fluorescent green stripes and she glows in the dark. Wow. And what about Quilu, the blue crocodile? When the crocodile was born green. One day, as he was quietly swimming in the Quilu River, he suddenly turned blue. Well, fancy that. No explanation except for those blue fish that went past. Hmm, maybe they've got something to do with it. So that's how all of the animals got the way they are. Let me have a look what this little button up here does. So that's the stop button. We're going to press play again. Let's see if it takes us back to where we were up to. No, it doesn't. Let's go forward. So now we know how to go back to Into the menu like page. Four of the Let's go forward. Every night, the four friends sat together and looked up at the stars. The Kiwaka nights were stunning. No other place in the world had such a starry sky. It really is beautiful. Look at all these stars. Kudi, the elephant, knew that among so many stars, the brightest ones formed constellations which looked like shapes in the celestial sphere. But he didn't know where they were or what they were called. And his little friends didn't know much more about them either. Hmm. Well, they need something to help them learn, don't they? One night, Tuka the bird remembered an ancient Mayan legend. According to the legend, fireflies carry the light from the stars. Well, the Kiwakan forest was full of fireflies. Maybe they could help. Maybe they could. What will happen if I tap the firefly? Oh, it's gone. I think Tuka. Oh! <laughs> if I tap Tuka, his eyes roll. Each time I tap fireflies, more fireflies turn up. Woo, look at them all now. Okay, let's stop playing with the fireflies and see what's next. Our friends ventured into the forest. Nearing the edge of the forest, they encounter their first firefly and ask him if the legend was true. The firefly stopped. He looked at the little creatures and told them that it was a story lost in time. No one was interested in the stars or in the ancient mysteries of the constellations anymore. Oh no, surely not. Oh. 
The friends hesitated. Shaka coiled herself up slowly, while Tuka waved his feathers, and with a puzzled look in his eyes, stared at the sky. But Kudi insisted. They all wanted to see the constellations and their shapes in the sky. Oh, good on you, Kudi. So, the Firefly told them that he carried the light of the Alpha Star from the Little Bear constellation. Quilu dropped his huge jaw in astonishment. He shook his reptile tail and asked, where in the sky was the Little Bear? Hmm. Okay, Fireflies, go and show us. Oh. Aha! And they've revealed the Little Bear constellation. But none of his friends knew who the Little Bear was, let alone imagine that each constellation represented a mythological figure with a story full of ancient mysteries. I'm going to send the fireflies off to make the little bear again because they did such a beautiful job before. The little bear constellation has seven main stars, said the firefly. If you want to see where it is in the sky, you have to catch me and six more of my friends. Only once you have caught all seven of us can we light it up and unveil its mystery. Oh, that's very mysterious. The four friends jumped for joy. They could finally learn everything about the starry sky. The firefly reminded them that Kiwaka stood at the equator. And, as a result, they could see all the constellations, especially those belonging to the 12 signs of the zodiac. Well, that is exciting. Now, I'm not going to show you anymore because I don't want to give away the whole story. But you can see that Kiwaka's story is a very interesting one. So go and check it out. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.